Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together today, just showing you running through, investigating and fixing a fault on this Mini. Um, basically we've plugged it in with the, uh, the issue that we're having with it. While you're going down the road, the um, engine light's on, it's got no boost at all. Um, we've got it plugged in with a diagnostic machine, we're using the top down scanner. Um, we've done a full scan with it. I'll just show you the fault codes that we've got. Just run you through what's fixed the fault and then just clearing the codes and just giving it a run, just making sure it's fixed the fault. Um, but basically we've done, with this top down scanner here, we've done a full scan and in the engine ECU, we've got some faults there, which you can see, 31C4, 2AB5, 2F08 and 2AB4, which are all relating to boost pressure faults there. And one of them relates to sort of thinking that it's actually saying charge air hose falling off there uh, i've noticed with a different machine it's saying about or an, air, an air leak as well so i'll just show you what we've done to sort of identify the fault quickly if we just start it up i'm just going to go into the engine ecu onto the data stream So you've got a couple of options for boost pressure here. We'll just sure change these into KPA. Just find it a bit easier to read in that. But in KPA, you can see we've got the no the nominated uh, value there, what it should be, what it's actually reading. If we just rev it up, you can see it's really slow to rev anyway. That's foot flat to the floor, but the actual pressure is not changing at all. So we'll just get under the bonnet now to show you where the boost pressure sensor is located. Just run you through swapping it over. And then we'll show you the readings and just clearing the codes after that as well. Now, if you want to check out the pressure sensor, the part number and where you can get it from, just check the links in the description below. I'll list it all there for you. Right, so just coming under the bonnet, just pull the top cover off there. This is a boost pressure sensor there. All you need is a little Torx driver to get the screw out, swap it over, and just pull that little tab back to get the connector off. So just swap that over quick, and put it in, put the cover back on, and then clear the fault codes and give it a run. So we've got the old sensor there. It's quite hard to fault it looking at it. Um, sometimes you do get these where they're sort of blocked up and carboned up on the end, but as you can see, that one doesn't look, doesn't look too bad, really. Um, but now that we've fitted it, we're just going to get all the codes cleared out, and then we'll just give it a run, just make sure it's um, fixed the fault. Before, you could try to clear the codes, clear them out, but as soon as you went down the road again, it just um, logged the fault code straight away. So. And just quickly before giving it a run, um, with just the ignition on, just wanted to show you the boost pressure as well. Um, just normal atmospheric pressure now, 100 kPa. You can see they're a lot closer now as before it was reading about 30 compared to the 100 there. So. But if we just strike it up as well. So we're getting some lot different, uh, a lot of different readings now. So just going to give it a quick run. Just make sure the fault light stays out and just update it as soon as we get back. And just do a quick code scan as well. All right, so we've just got back from road test. We've done about five mile in it. It's ran absolutely spot on, boosting perfectly all the time now. Um, when we cleared the fault codes before, the very first time you tried to sort of 
let it boost it would just it would start trying and then it just shut it down into limp mode now i did check the wiring feeds earlier on all the feeds the correct feeds were there so we knew that it wasn't a supply issue or anything like that um but it's just the actual set the reading that the sensor was giving out is what it didn't like and why it was shutting it down so um but now that you can see we've done a full coast cam it's all green on there so everything's spot on and uh, yeah if you want to check out the sensor just check the links in the description below i replaced this one the one on it was original bmw one uh, but i fitted a febby replacement uh, which is quite a decent brand i quite like the febby stuff um but yeah i hope, hope you like the video if you did give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and we'll see you next time